<laughs> now, I want you boys to be on your best behavior tonight. Grandmother, it's just Lois and Ned. I... We are officially welcoming Ned's wife into the family. Uh, heaven help her. Yeah, you sh should dump them when she had the shot. There will be no bickering between you and Ned. I don't see why we have to have a state dinner for a young woman who has been in and out of this house for months. Lois needs a little celebrating. Frankly, we haven't done too much for her. We never even sent her a wedding present, Edward. Oh, well, shall I go back upstairs and put on my dinner jacket? Uh, where's your livery, Reginald? Uh, I don't have one, mm -hmm. sir. Yes, I've noticed. We're not trying to overwhelm the poor girl. Let's just uh, express our sincerity, warmth, and enthusiasm. <coughs> there. Take your take your cue from Annabelle. Beautiful <laughs> creature, you. I couldn't agree more. Ah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Lois, name your poison. That's oh, true. Sorry about that, Reginald. <laughs> um a uh, white wine spritzer? Well, she doesn't drink martinis. Thank heavens. Uh, you know, Annie should be due to have a puppy soon, huh? Don't remind me. Talk about a no-class, unwelcome addition to this family. Um, Edward was merely deploring the fact that he can't sell the puppies for a thousand dollars each. Uh, <laughs> Say, Ned, uh, the buzz around campus is that you're going to do a concert. Jason, I'm surprised that you even have time for classes. <laughs> With all your other activities, how's that uh, foundation going? Moving ahead. So, is the uh, Idle Rich going to book a gig at PCU or what? We're in negotiations as we speak. Here, for you. Mm. They're becoming a collector's item. Wow. Ah. Check it out. Little, a t-shirt. Uh-huh. I brought one for everybody. Uh -huh. Thank you, dear. How lovely. Oh. You're welcome. You sure to wear this at the next uh, ELQ board meeting, huh? One for you, oh, Reggie. Really? Oh, thanks. thank you. Yeah. And I'll tell you what. They make excellent night shirts. Oh, I uh, prefer silk pajamas. And I make it a practice never to wear clothing that advertises. Well, uh, why don't you just check out that belt buckle of yours, huh? Hmm? I mean, uh... I bet you those aren't your initials. And if you can flaunt Giorgio and you can flaunt Calvin, you can flaunt Eddie. I never flaunt. Well, sure you do. You're flaunting your excellent taste with everything you're wearing on your back. So, uh, I know you would appreciate this T-shirt. I'd feel like one of Ned's guppies. That's groupies, dear. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but you know what, Mr. Q? A lot of men your age could never pull that off. But you, you happen to be timeless. <laughs> and you're smooth. So are you. You know, Grandfather, if you come downstairs wearing this for your midnight snack, I'll wear it to the office. Over my dead body. <laughs> well, thank heavens, though, that this aberration of Ned's is almost at an end. Right, you going back to your queue? Oh, of course he is. Six weeks, that was the deal, huh? Well, we haven't <laughs> heard Ned's decision yet. Uh, sweetheart. Do you know, uh, quarter million women know better than to try to dictate to their husbands, huh? Oh, well, nobody's gonna dictate Ned's life except for Ned. Good girl. Then what's this about a concert at the university, hmm? Let's not waste time on this tonight, okay? The only time being wasted is the time you spend wiggling around in those leather pants howling that infernal music. Oh, well, that's your opinion, Mr. Q. You're damn right it is. Isn't it time for dinner? Reginald, check with Cook. Yes, Some quick. people would say that Ned was wasting his time on business. Well, dinner ought to be a hoot. Let's just change the subject. Grandfather, you yeah. remember the time... Look, when I, don't you think no, no, that an ego-aggrandizing t-shirt is going to change my mind? Because, because all of a sudden you're telling me to give myself, I don't get it. Did you discuss something without discussing? Home sweet home. Helen, dear, we didn't expect you. How's Mom? Dad, I thought she was coming home with you. What happened? Is she okay? Monica's doing very well. She's just about to have her last treatment of chemotherapy. Couldn't you stay with her for a couple extra days to see her home? Well, she had her own ideas. She wanted some private time to say goodbye to certain people. Can't wait to have her back. I'll second that. You're going above and beyond the call of duty, Reginald. Oh, that's oh. appropriate. Oh, appropriate, my foot. Do you want to give me indigestion? 75,576. I'm sorry. Uh, 75,576 what? Utensils, 
that Reggie has to put out on the table every year at this rate? <coughs> Not including the extras. Great. Now Reginald's gonna ask for a raise. Well, that's quite remarkable. Did you do that in your head? Yeah. I figure my family goes through about six or seven hundred, but, you know, we eat in the kitchen. <laughs> the cook would have a heart attack. She'd probably quit. Whenever a family comes together at the end of the day, sharing thoughts and expressing family solidarity, that's all that's important. My mom thinks so, too. <laughs> you know, superficial differences aside, I'm sure that your family is very much like ours. I certainly hope not. <laughs> well, in the interest of sharing thoughts and expressing family solidarity, when are you coming back to ELQ, Ned? It's really unfair to put Ned on the spot like this, eh, Jay? Well, I think it's unfair to leave things hanging. I mean, after all, Ned's decision does affect all of us. And uh, six weeks are about up. You know, I'd like to put forth that if Ned's not going to be coming back, I can... Uh, who said I wasn't coming back? Well, I, I just sort of got that impression from Lois. She said it was up to me. Yeah. Well, have you made a decision yet? If I have, I'll discuss that with Lois first before laying it out to Grandfather and not at the dinner table. I agree. When? All in good time, Junior. Somebody pass the rolls. Show some consideration, Ned. I have, I've been over backwards trying to indulge you in this, this childish fantasy of yours. Childish? Mm -hmm. That's my point of view. <clears throat> well, if all of you see is your point of view, isn't that a little narrow? You're getting the picture. Let's change the subject. From whatever point of view, the music world is a far cry from the real world. <laughs> Hold it, Mr. Hugh. I am not about to sit here and take that. Oh, boy, here we go. Reginald, the next Close. course, quick. Close. I'm not sure that you appreciate Ned's achievements in the business world. He was at the top, Lois, a star in every sense of the word. Until I came along. Well, I... Is that your point? Yeah. Now, come on, Mr. Q. Let's have this out right here and now. What? <laughs> With all due respect, Mr. Q. How can you completely ignore Ned's talents? Who's ignoring his talents? He has enormous talents for business, for making money. I'll give you that. And if we don't exercise our talents, they wither and die. Exactly. Stop agreeing with me, damn it. I won't be Molly Cox. But the point is, isn't it up to Ned which talents he chooses to exercise? He made his choice long ago. He is CEO of ELQ. But what if he chooses the idle rich? Then he's a damn fool. May the damn fool get a word in edgewise here? Why is he a fool? Because his dreams are different than yours? No, it's not about dreams. It's about pragmatic reality. Without dreams, life isn't worth living. And without bread on the table and clothes on your back, life's even less worth living. Wait a second. Is that what this is all about? Money? Do you know how much money a successful rock and roll singer makes? No, no, no. It's not about money. It's about... It's about self-respect. It's about contributing something into the world and honoring family. So are you saying that a singer doesn't contribute? That a singer doesn't have respect? Oh, don't press that point. Oh, I will because you're blowing it right out your ear. Noise, dear. Please help yourself to salmon. So, anything new since I left? Anybody have a baby or win the lottery? So you're saying <clears throat> the only respectable career is business, hmm? No, no, no. There are others. There's a... There's medicine, and, and law, and architecture. But not arts and entertainment. But look, I don't see anything wrong with uh, things like um, singing and, and dancing and painting as hobbies. As a hobby? Mm, no. <gasps> Tell that to Balanchine, and Bernstein, and Picasso. They all happen to be dead. <laughs> not because of their talent. Oh, all right. But you, you can't take a few very talented people and ignore the thousands and the millions of people who have broken their hearts trying to follow in their footsteps. Oh, but Ned's not going to break his heart. He's breaking the hearts of thousands of screaming fans out there who can't get enough of them. So there goes your argument. Besides, I would rather see him break his heart trying to do something he loves to do than, than ground it into the, into the dirt bit by bit doing something he hates. He obviously doesn't hate business. You're right. And I concede to that. But you have to concede to his talent as a singer, even if you don't know Shinola about music. I propose a toast. Not now, Jason. Okay. 
all right. If I concede his talent, hmm? will you let him come back to ELQ? Hmm? Mr. Q, I am just his manager. I don't lead him around by the nose, and if you think I do, then you don't know your grandson very well. Don't tell me that you haven't made your preference perfectly clear. And so have you. Isn't it Ned's preference that's important here? What is Ned's preference? If you and I love Ned the way we say we do, then why don't we just back off and give him some breathing room? By gum, she has the makings of a real quarter main. <laughs> mm. Isn't this lovely, Salmon? Well, I think that went very well. Well, I think you're a pushover for a beautiful woman, Grandfather. <laughs> he is. <laughs> I think Ned's stalling. Well, one week won't make any difference, more or less. Well, if you ask me, I think Ned's angling to have his cake and eat it, too. Oh, you mean go back to work at ELQ part-time? Mm -hmm. Keep up this double persona of his? Oh, no. I'll never agree to that. <laughs> and I won't hear any more discussion about this tonight. Good for you, Mother. <clears throat> now, I want you all to put on your thinking caps. How can we help Lois feel more of a part of this family. Well, from the way she stood up to Father tonight, I think she's well on her way. She even got the better of him on a couple points. Oh. I gave ground on purpose, so as not to make her feel too bad. <laughs> yeah, huh? all right. Right. Very gracious. You all did your best to make her feel at home, and I'm, I'm proud of you, but I really would like to do something else. Something... Wait, I have it. Why don't we invite her family to visit? 